Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session part 2 area using polar coordinates. In the first session we find the area of cardioid as well as the area lying between two circles that is r equal to 2 sin theta and 4 sin theta. In today's session we are going to deal with some different problem. Find the area of one loop of lemniscate. First of all we have to know what is mean by lemniscate. The word lemniscate come from the Latin word lemniscatus that means decorated ribbons. Do you remember in our functions any gift we used to decorate with ribbons. This is known as lemniscatus. Hope you understand. So now you would have guessed how this figure would be. It was first used in mathematics to describe about lemniscate of Bernoulli. A figure 8 shaped curve studied by Jacob Bernoulli in 17th century. Okay. So now it's time to draw the diagram. It's look like infinity. Now the question asked to us find the area of one loop of lemniscate. Lemniscate has two loops. We have to find the area of one loop. And also we can observe that in this one loop the upper half is equal to the lower half because of the symmetry about the line y equal to 0. So if I found this region I can multiply with 2 to get one loop. If I multiply with 4 I will get the whole area of lemniscate. Okay done. Now here is my hold. I want to draw the strip. Here we can see it is r equal to 0. Therefore my limits are going to be r equal to 0 to when I take square root r is equal to a root of cos 2 theta. Since I am considering the first quadrant all are positive. Done. Now we have to pick the limit. Next we have to find the angle. You should be very careful student. As I said this is infinity. Now when you draw a line x equal to y it will touch the line it will not cross the line. Therefore we know that the line x equal to y split this x and y axis exactly by 45 degree and 45 degree on the other side. Therefore this lemniscate if I take only the first quadrant then it angle covers from 0 to 45 degree that we say it as pi by 4. This is my limit students. So now we have to find the area of one loop of lemniscate. So one loop of lemniscate what I am going to do? I am going to multiply two times the area in the first quadrant. If I evaluate this then I can find the area of one loop. If I multiply with 4, I can find area on 2 loop. Now let us substitute the limits what we have found. Now integrating this, we will be getting 2 into integral 0 to pi by 4 r square by 2 a square root of cos 2 theta d theta. Substituting the limit, we will be getting a square cos 2 theta into d theta over the limit 0 to pi by 4. Now integrating this we will be getting sin 2 theta by 2. When you apply the upper limit we will be getting sin pi by 2 lower limit sin 0. Sin pi by 2 is 1 so we will get the answer a square by 2. Therefore the area of one loop of the lemniscate is a square by 2. If they ask find the area of lemniscate simply you have to multiply with and evaluate the region on the first quadrant. Next question. Find the area inside the circle but lying outside the cardioid. It is very important now. We have to observe these two equations. Both the equations you can see r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. The other one is r is equal to a into sin theta. So the, there should be some intersection points. When we draw the figure we can understand the region. So this is my circle r is equal to a sin theta. Next we have to draw the cardioid r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. Next we have to, so both the equations a is common. So the cardioid is going to pass through this point. You can see this cardioid. Now what is the question asked to us? Area lies outside the cardioid but inside the circle. So this is the only region we have students. So now we have to put the strip. I will zoom a little. Now we have to put the strip here. When we put the strip then we can understand that my upper limit is circle and my lower limit is the cardioid. Therefore my r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta to r is equal to a sin theta. The next thing we have to find the angle. So it starts at 0 degree and it is moving up to first quadrant. So we say theta equal to pi by 2. 
therefore my angles are going to be 0 to pi by 2 and r is going to be a into 1 minus cos theta comma a into sin theta next what we are going to do we are going to find the area so area substitute the limits in the formula area that is double integral over r into dr into d theta this is the given limits when you integrate you will be getting r square by 2 a sin theta in the numerator a into 1 minus cos theta in the denominator then integral 0 to pi by 2 d theta i'll take this 1 by 2 outside now when you simplify this we will be getting a square sin square theta minus a square 1 minus cos theta whole square d theta now it is very tough to integrate as it is so take this a square constant outside and simplify the terms next to expand this we will be getting 1 minus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta now rearranging this we will be getting minus 1 plus 2 cos theta plus sin square theta minus cos square theta d theta just now we see in the previous problem integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power n theta d theta it is going to be integral 0 to pi by 2 cos power n theta d theta therefore i can cancel this because they are equal now integrating this we will be getting minus theta plus 2 sin theta now substitute the upper and lower limit we will be getting minus pi by 2 plus 2 sin pi by 2 the lower limit will become 0 now sin pi by 2 is simply 1 so a square by 2 i will write 2 minus pi by 2 taking lcm a square by 2 4 minus pi divided by 2 therefore my final solution is i is equal to a square by 4 4 minus pi hope you understand students next we are going to see some simple problem sometimes they can ask you the normal evaluation problems also like this they will tell evaluate integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 integral 0 to 2 cos theta r square dr d theta so in this case you don't need diagram also because everything is given crystal clear we have to integrate and you have to find the solution let us consider this as i so now now integrating r square we will be getting r cube by 3 my upper limit is 2 cos theta lower limit is 0 into d theta now taking this 1 by 3 outside integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 when you substitute the upper limit 2 cos theta will be getting 8 cos cube theta lower limit is 0 and we have a result student in our school days integral minus a to a f of x dx is equal to 2 times integral 0 to a f of x dx if f of x is an even function so how to check whether the function is even or not if your f of minus x will be getting f of x then it is going to be an even function see here in trigonometry cos x is going to be always a even function because cos of minus theta is simply cos theta therefore cos cube theta is going to be an even function so using this result i can write this as 1 by 3 2 times 0 to pi by 2 8 into cos cube theta d theta now taking the constant outside 16 by 3 integral 0 to pi by 2 cos cube theta d theta so in our previous videos we discuss about this integral 0 to pi by 2 cos power n theta or sin power n theta when n is even we start with pi by 2 when n is odd we have to start with the number 1 so 1 into 2 by 3 if it is when n is 7 then what you have to do we have to write like 1 into 2 3 4 5 6 7 and we have to make the fraction and we'll get the answer so here in the problem n value is 3 so 1 into 2 by 3 now we'll be getting 32 by 9 so sometimes they can ask you some standard evaluation problems also so for this i have given this simple example Hope you understand.